are you thinking about moving to Greer, South Carolina, and you're wanting to know the pros and the cons, you're tired of everybody only giving you the pros of a city? Well, I'm going to give you both, the pros and the cons. So stay tuned. We're about to go into it. I'm Tracy Roberts with Atlas Home Team. I'm a local realtor in the area, and I like to help people just like you relocate to our area, but I want to make sure that you get all the information so you pick the best area for you. So let's get into it. A pro about Greer would be its location. So it is conveniently located between Greenville County and Spartanburg County. Half of the city is in Greenville County technically and Spartanburg County for the other half. Why that's important to know is so it's gonna have different school systems. So you wanna make sure if you're wanting certain schools, you're gonna to need to figure that out. To find out that information, you're gonna to go to niche.com or greatschools.com and we'll get into that a little bit in a minute. When we talk about location, we cannot leave out the GSP airport. It is a Greenville Spartanburg airport that is an international airport that has lots of nonstop flights through different airlines. It is a larger airport that has grown in size over the years. It has grown so much and had so much traffic that as late as a new traffic pattern in January of 2024, so if you traveled before January 2024 to our airport or you've dropped somebody off or picked somebody up at our airport, just know that there's a new traffic pattern for those particular things. We still have the um, parking garages and all of that, but where you drop somebody off and where you pick somebody up or where you pick up your rental car is completely different now. So you just wanna make sure you know that. Another thing about location is we have the headquarters for Michelin here as well as BMW. So if you're wanting to be in BMW, close to proximity so you don't have a far drive, Greer is a great alternative um, to living in Greenville because Greenville may take you longer to get to work when Greer would be a fast pace to get there. One other thing that you want to think about with Greer's location, you can get to downtown Greenville in 20 minutes. You can get to Spartanburg in 20 minutes. You can get on 85 and 15, which 85 can get you to Atlanta pretty quickly, about an hour and a half to two hours, or it can get you to Charlotte, which is north of us in about an hour and a half. You can't go wrong. Another pro for this area of Greer would be the amazing school system. Don't take my word for it. Please do your research. You need to go to niche.com. You need to look at greatschools.com because there's various schools here. A couple I say that you should look at is Riverside Middle and Riverside High School. There's unique programs within those schools that will accelerate them through their life. You definitely want to check out those two websites to find that information out for yourself. But you want to know that if you're going to work at BMW or Michelin or you're relocating because you love the downtown history and the culture of the area and you want to check out the schools, go to those websites. You will not be disappointed. Another pro would be the lifestyle that you get to have here in Greer. It's pretty phenomenal. You have a downtown area that's full of history and rich in culture, beautiful shops, lots of uh, local businesses, wonderful restaurants like Rick Irwin's, Great Bay Oyster House, lots to choose from. If that's not good enough, then you go to Wade Hampton, which is still inside of Greer, and you have plenty of stores there like Home Depot, you have Hobby Lobby, Target, and then all the full gamut of national train restaurants. You can't go wrong with Greer. The final pro we're going to go over today about Greer, I promise you it isn't the final pro, but it's the last one we're going to go over today, is cost of living. Cost of living is 9 to 10% less than the national average here in Greer. You get to have a great lifestyle, a beautiful downtown, and all the things to do like movies and after dark. That's awesome. It's free. They have festivals that are free. The 4th of July fireworks. They even celebrate the veterans with fireworks. It's an amazing place to live. Now, let's go into the cons. So one of the cons would be that there's four parts of Greer. So when you're trying to explain where you live, it's kind of confusing, right? So if you live on the Blue Ridge side of Greer, you're closer to the mountains. You're going to have less ability to get to stores quickly. You're going to have more traffic because there's more two lane roads than there would be. Also, if you're trying to get to Wade Hampton, which is the road that you would be able to shop on or get to downtown Greer, it would be more convenient for you probably to get to Greenville than it would be Greer. One of the other four parts would be downtown Greer. Downtown Greer is rich in culture, it's beautiful, and it is a good place for you to get from here to there and all the things. The, the houses are mostly older. They're historic and they have hopefully good bones, right? But they're smaller or they don't have the upgrades that you may want into a home unless you find a random lot, which is very rare to find too, and have a new construction home built there. The other two that I'm going to mention to you would be south of Greer, I mean, south of um, 85, which would still be Greer, and a little bit across 85 into the back of Five Force, what we call like North 
85 area of Greer. So the two areas of that, they're going to be harder to get to different areas as well. And that's trying to explain it. So you have Thornblade, which is a golf course country club, which is in the southern part of, of part of 85. And it's still considered Greer and it's connected to Pelham Road and all of that traffic. And you would use Pelham Road area instead of Wood Wade Hampton Road. The other side of 85 would still be considered Greer. It's the back of Five Forks. So you would use Five Forks shopping like the Glow's grocery store and places like that. And you would probably go into Greer, I mean Greenville instead of Greer to go shopping. So you see how it's a little confusing with the four parts and which area you would want to do. And there's different zip codes for it. So you'd want to make sure that you know the difference between 29650 and 29651 and where they go and what, what you would go to for schools and where you'd want to work. So it gets a little confusing on that con, right? Another con of Greer would be its traffic and the fact that there's not a lot of infrastructure for the influx of people moving here. So you will have tons of traffic on Wade Hampton. You are not nuts, I promise you. You probably did hit every light and locals would call those red lights. You will not hear them say, well, go to the traffic light and turn right. Go to the next red light and turn right is what you're going to hear. They're probably conditioned to that because there's always been a red light on Wade Hampton Road. And in the downtown area where we are right now, you're going to have a lot of traffic as well because the roads haven't been widened. It's a downtown area. They only have one parking garage and that just got created in the last year. So it's not like Greenville where there's lots of parking garages for the infrastructure is being built out for all the things to do. Well, it's a beautiful city. You're just going to have to plan ahead to get somewhere earlier so that way you have a chance for parking. So there you have it. The pros and cons of Greer, South Carolina. If you have any thoughts of moving to our area, I'm Tracy Roberts with Atlas Home Team and I would love to help you. My information is below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to have future content.